Hey everybody, welcome, and this is Mike from Search Scientists, and welcome to day 32 of 100 Days of AdWords Help. Today we're going to be talking about how to use Excel for keyword upload in AdWords Editor. This post is part of our mega series, 100 Days of AdWords Help, basically everything that you need, so many different topics from keywords and search queries to ads to keywords to bids to ad copy. Be sure to head over to the link in the description to get more info on that. However, today we're going to be talking about how to use Excel to upload keywords to AdWords Editor. And I remember when I was first learning AdWords, this was something that I would constantly hear people talk about. They would say, you got to use Excel, you got to use Excel, got to use Excel, got to use Excel for campaign creation was one of the things that always got mentioned, but I never understood how. And once I finally learned how, it was as if a door was open for me. So hopefully you get a lot of value out of this too. Now there's loads of reason to use AdWords Editor for keyword management, most of them being speed, speed, and more speed. So basically, speed is good. It allows you to outpace competition. Meaning, if you just have five hours to upload keywords every month, but you can do it really fast and actually do it you know, upload five rounds of keywords instead of just one round of keywords, you're going to get ahead of your competition. So speed is really important and efficiency is really important in paid traffic. So what you're gonna need, Excel, and you can use OpenOffice, Google Docs, or Numbers. You're gonna need AdWords Editor and a place to get keywords. I put down Keyword Planner here because it is probably the most likely place where you will get keywords. And we're not gonna cover how to pick keywords in this video. But what we are going to do is actually look at a real account and actually drop in some data. So let's actually do this right now. So the first thing we're going to want to do is actually open up Excel. Uh, so I am on Excel 2016 here on a Mac. It may look slightly different depending on what computer or spreadsheet software you are using. So you're going to want to do a few different things. The first is give a column header campaign. The next one's going to be ad group. The next one's going to be keyword. The next one's going to be match type. And the last one can be bid. That's it. Essentially, what we're going to do for everything is basically when we have our list of keywords, we're basically going to be listing out what campaign and ad group they're in, what match type they should have, and what bid they will receive, what starting bid they will receive for us. Now, truth be told, you actually don't need bid uh, if you're going to do like ad group level bids, which I don't often recommend. So we're going to use campaign, ad group, keyword, match type, and bid. So let's just put in some dummy data here. So let's say campaign, this will be note books plus cold traffic plus USA plus search text. It's a pretty solid campaign name. Selling notebooks to the US. Great. Next thing is going to be an ad group. Now. I have other posts talking about how to organize your ad groups and whether or not you choose 10 packs, meaning 10 closely related keywords in just one ad group or single keyword ad groups, doesn't necessarily matter here. Um, what I'm doing now is really just going through the act of doing this. So however you're gonna organize your keywords and your ad groups is a topic for another video. So let's say we had ad group one, ad group one, and let's say we had four keywords there. And then add group two. And we had four keywords there. And let's actually go ahead and call it a day at that. Up next, we had keyword A, keyword B. Terrific. So what we have now is our campaigns, our ad group, our keywords, our match type, and our bids. Next, I'm going to open up AdWords Editor here. And what I'm going to do is basically go to my keywords area, my positive keywords, make multiple changes. And then what I'm going to do is essentially copy everything other than that header row. So I come here and I paste from clipboard. And you can see it tried to guess. So it didn't get everything right. You could see here that uh, it didn't list my keyword 
properly. So that's the campaign. That's the ad group. This is the keyword. You'll notice that you do not see a match type here, so it's actually a criterion type. And then your max CPC. Now you'll actually see that there's a lot of other things that you can add here. You can add final URL, you can add destination URL, you can add a lot of different things for this. Now what's interesting is that there's going to be defaults every time. So the default ad group status is going to be activated. Um, the default bit strategy name will be nothing. Uh, so on and so forth. So there's different things that you can do. You can label keywords at this stage. You can do a ton of things at this stage. For right now, just demonstrating how this process actually works. So we're going to go ahead and process. You can even remember this so that next time you won't have to go through the process of picking the column headers. Go ahead and drop that in and finish interview changes. Now what you see here is I've just added these new keywords and that actually created new campaign notebooks. So I've got my different ad groups and you can see that there was actually a typo that I did where I didn't capitalize this ad group and what happened was AdWords editor said hey that's a separate ad group. So you can see how everything was organized. You can go ahead and make any changes that you need to here and that's pretty much it. Uh, this is how you use Excel to upload keywords. So think about how that process works as you're going into keyword research tools and you're getting tons and tons of keywords you want a quick way to work with them massage them into the format that you want whether it be different ad group strategies different keyword strategies different bids if you want to make all the exact starting bids one dollar and all the phrase match uh, 75 cents and all the broad match 40 cents you can do that rapidly using Excel. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of what's really, really possible for you when you use AdWords Editor to upload keywords. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the rest of our 100 Days of AdWords Help series over at our website. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.